All right. Hello, everybody. Pedro here with Cinemild. And as we stated in our last live, we are now going to be doing a Ready Rig Vega 2.0 upgrade, live upgrade. We're going to be installing the Vega 2.0 system on a Ready Rig GS Pro Arm unit. Everything you see here, of course, can be purchased from Cinemild. But today, we're going to be attempting to install the Vega 2.0 upgrade at just like we just finished unboxing uh, in our previous live. You can find that video on our YouTube channel as well. We have a live uh, playlist. It should be easy to find. But uh, yeah, so let's step into it. So this is everything that comes in. Uh, it comes with this very good manual. So fully detailed. It's going to have all of our step-by-step -step instructions. Comes with all these tools you see here. They are included, including a screw extraction kit. And I think there's even a drill bit in here. Let's hope we don't need to use that. But we got these two uh, marked bags of hardware. Um, we got the, the ProArm uh, Vega clamp, right? That's, that's towards the end. Here we got our Vega band that came in a separate box. And then of course, the Vega frame itself. All right, so, um, and then we got our ready rig set aside here. There are the shoulder uh, parts of the, of the ready rig. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear my table here. We're not ready for this part yet. So I'm gonna set it aside. And uh, I believe we're probably going to start this with the ready rig GS. I believe the first step is we're going to disassemble the uh, ready rig. So let's look here and um, there we go. So it gives you an overview of all the tools. Uh, gives you an overview of everything that's included. And here we go, step one, in order to install your Vega upgrade, you need to remove the power bungees. So lay the... Okay, sorry about that, I hit the wrong button. Um, okay, we're back. So uh, step one, lay the ready rig flat on a table with the back facing up, remove the carbon rod thumb screws, and the bungee slider. Okay, so we need to remove these right here. These hold the bungees in. So let's set that aside for now. Okay, and then we can slide out the bungees. So this is what a ready rig bungee looks like. This is what helps support the weight of a gimbal or a handheld camera if you don't have the Vega upgrade. So we're gonna be losing these guys and hopefully upgrading to the bands we see here. So, all right, let me set that aside. Let's take the other one out right here. Here's number two. Let's set that aside. All right, pull the power bungees out. I'm gonna set that hardware over there so we don't get it mixed up with anything. Uh, adjust the bat wing up to the highest position. This is the bat wing right here. So we're gonna pull up on this. See, so it slides. And we're gonna take that to the highest position right there. Okay. And let's flip the page over here. Let's see the next step in the disassembly. So it looks like we're gonna to have to remove the GS belt. So we actually need to, uh, let's see here. Uh, actually, we can leave it like this. And uh, we're gonna have to, not that right there, but we're actually gonna remove this. So undo the Velcro. Okay, undid the Velcro. And we're gonna feed that out. And then we're gonna hit our first little snag which is this thing called the tri-glide. So we need to remove that, okay? So we're going to be doing that. So really simply just feed it through. I am doing this one-handed. 
I do have a tripod if we get stuck, but here we go. This thing is called the tri-glide. We want to remove that. Okay, I'm going to set it aside here. Um, and then it says here, slide the rest of the belt out. So let's just slide that out. There we go. Now repeat to the other side. So let's... Okay, undo the Velcro. And now we've got to remove this other tri-glide right here. So thanks for joining me tonight. Um, like I said, there is a very good detailed uh, in, uh, install video or upgrade video on the Ready Rig YouTube channel. But uh, now we'll also have a upgrade video because I'm going to save this live and post it to our YouTube. Um, so you can watch it later if you just joined us and you don't have time to watch the whole thing now. And maybe you want to go on our website and see how much the Vega upgrade is and get yourself a Vega upgrade for your ready rig. So here we go. I'm just pulling that out per the instructions. All right. So that is now loose. Okay. What's the next step here? Next step, um, pry the vest up from the ready rig. Use the crescent wrench to, they're calling this a crescent wrench, but it's actually a open box end wrench. Um, so we're going to be open to remove the nylon nuts, these two nuts on the bottom here. So I see here, pry and remove the back. Okay. And uh, flip the vest over to, okay, it's giving you a close up here of what needs to get done. Uh, to remove if you have the older style right there, it's going to be a top hat uh, nut and You can use pliers to hold that since this is a brand new ready rig uh, It says here prior to 2021 they were using these top hat bolts. So uh, If uh, you don't if you have a new one like like the one we have here You won't have that issue. So okay, so let's flip this guy over Okay, carefully because it's brand new we don't want to scratch it all right and that just lifts up okay and then we're gonna want to loosen this guy so we take our sevens included right it comes with everything you need and uh, right there and uh, let's see here they actually felt pretty loose. I wonder if it's not spinning on the other side. Uh, it is not. Okay, that came out with not too much fuss. So we're going to set that aside. Yep, that came out pretty easily. So I'm going to set that aside there. And okay. There we go. We can now actually lift up the entire thing. I'm just going to lay it over that, that direction. And now we have exposed the metal spine of the ready rig. And uh, there we go. So let's flip the page and go to the next step. Okay. Okay. Page six. Remove the bungee slider, bungee loops, and cheese plate from the ready rig. Okay. From hardware pack one. So hardware pack one right here is going to have more tools for us. So let's let's see. Whoops. Be careful not to lose anything. So we've got a bunch of countersunk bolts there. We've got a few Allen wrenches and we got a drill. I don't think we're going to be using the drill today since this is a brand new ready rig. But if you have an older ready rig, you might have a hard time. All right. So there's some hardware. Okay. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to remove these bungee loops, which we won't be having a bungee anymore. And our Vega is actually going to mount in the same position. So we got to get rid of those. 
and we got to get rid of the bungee slider plate by removing this back plate so let's get the allen wrench here and yep that's the right size so I just like to break all these loose one by one and there we go and then spin these off here's one oh, yeah, yeah. butter figures okay there is two Again, I'm doing this, I'm holding the phone with one hand <laughs> and doing everything else with the other hand. So thanks for hanging in there. Uh, we are getting through it. And of course, if I can do this with one hand, you can certainly do it with two. Alrighty, so won't be nuding this piece anymore. This is called the bungee slider plate, but we should, we should put this back with, uh, I'm gonna, uh, screw these back in so they don't get lost recommend you do the same thing because one day you may want to um, reinstall this and um, let's say the vega brand the vega bands can uh, break you know if they get abraded they get worn if there's a cut in the band and you didn't notice they can break and if you're on set and they break, guess what? You're gonna wanna put your your bungee slider back on and reverse this whole process and go back to shooting as soon as possible. So we're gonna set that aside there. And now we're gonna take off the what's called the bungee loop right here, okay? So, okay, it's the same, same Allen. A little bit of a tight fit, but Rather it be tight than not. Um, let's get that. Let's get that in there. Okay. All righty. And let's spin this out. There's one. Here is number two, and that is enough, probably. And that is a bungee loop, now gone, and we're not gonna need these anymore. So we'll take those out. And once again, uh, I'm gonna set this aside here, and then I'll probably just thread it in there so I don't lose it. But we could do that later, because again, doing that one-handed is not an easy thing. There's one, and there's two. Okay, so we're gonna wanna set this aside again. Let's take that off, set the hardware aside. Okay, bungee loop's gone. So let's go back to the instructions. Um, on the bungee loop and the slider plate. Using the 5 8 to the hardware, but remove the two bolts on the cheese plate. Okay, so that means is we now have to remove the cheese plate. So let me let me organize my table here a little bit. And because now we're gonna flip this guy over. And we need to remove this guy. So we're gonna go here to the included tools once again. And uh, let's see if that's the Allen. That is not the Allen. It's going to be one of these other two. Not that one. And not that one. Huh. Okay. So where is, you know, I think there is, they gave us three Allen keys. None of them fit. 
it's saying here it's a saying here it's a 530 seconds bolt so I know I seen there's another Allen in there and I'm guessing and uh, I'm guessing that is gonna be this Allen that's in this bag right here okay I'm gonna leave that bag in one place let's see here winner winner here we go all right so let's loosen that guy okay that's one that's two okay threads and okay ah, pieces go everywhere all right but basically what we have here is i like to set all the leftover pieces this is we're going to reuse this we're probably going to reuse so i'm going to set that over there but this is the original back plate the original back plate screws let me set those there and that was the Allen I used right there. Okay. Okay, so now that's removed. Let's see here. Remove the bungee loops, remove the slider plate, remove that. Oh, the spacers that went flying. One, two, we're missing one more spacer. So I'm not sure we're gonna reuse those or not, but um, there's, oh, here it is. I found it, the third spacer. Okay, so there's the spacers. All right, and now we're on to the next page. Install the Vega upgrade onto the back of the ready rig. All right, so now it's the big moment. So now we're gonna have, we're gonna be using this plate here and then the actual ready, uh, Vega upgrade and uh, basically it's going to attach to the upper bat part of the bat wing right there where the gimbal loops used to be and then it's going to go across here so just like we see there okay so let's do that let's grab the vega upgrade here is the vega upgrade and first of all Let's see here how this is gonna work. So that's gonna line up right there. Probably gonna be using those screws right there. And so let's make some room here. This is gonna go like that. Again, I'm doing this one-handed, guys, so bear with me. Um, let's get these out of the way, and let's get this guy lined up. So as you see there, it falls right in this slot, but that should be up there, so that's not in the right place yet. And we're almost there. Boom. So all we need to do now is Boom, right there. All right. And that all looks pretty good. Oh. Okay, so now this plate is gonna go over that right there. And then we're gonna take some of these and put them in there. All right. Um, the wrench for this guy is gonna be this one. Let me see here. Yes, okay, that wrench right there. So it looks like some of these bolts already have uh, some Loctite uh, applied on them from the factory. Um, you're free to apply 
your own uh, blue Loctite, ladies and gentlemen. Do not use red. Let me repeat that. Never use red Loctite, all right? Please make your life easier down into the future. So right there. And uh, let's put this other screw in there. And we'll get those in later. Let's, uh, let's tie down the other side here. So I leave these always loose. I never make them all the way tight. You want to put in all the bolts before you tighten anything, right? And let's see here. Let me get this lined up here. There we go. All right. So sometimes you just, some things you can't do one handed. All right. So let's put those screws back in there. Just get those hands started. Just like that. Okay. Now all that's left to do is this back plate. So let's lay that in there. started okay so now we got these just making them hand tight there Okay, now we can come in with the wrench. Again, I just not going super tight at the moment. I like to cinch all these up by hand before I go too tight. So there we go. start going a little bit tighter now there's really no reason to overly tighten any of these bolts they are um, there's not a, nothing trying to pull this part off so you kind of have to use your own judgment as to how tight you make these So we finished with that step. Okay, now we're gonna install the cheese plate. The upper interlinear with along with the Vega spacers. So it says in hardware pack two, we're gonna have new Vega spacers. Okay, so we are not using the old spacers or the old bolts. We got new bolts and this time they are uh, either stainless steel or maybe plated, but better quality bolts. Oh, we got new new nylock nuts, so very good in case you have an older ready rig and yours has the top hat bolts, or you have a rusted out bolt that gave you new hardware. So we don't actually need to use reuse the old hardware. So the spacers are all the same length, as you can see there, but the bolts are not. So we have two longer bolts and a shorter bolt, okay? Let me put this bag over there. Okay, so 
It says here in the instructions, install the cheese plate using one upper and two lower cheese plate bolts along with the division pipe two. Okay. The shorter bolt uh, goes on the top, right? So let me flip our frame over again. Whoops. Alrighty. Good deal. All right. And, um, okay. So here is the cheese plate. So the two longer bolts go on the bottom. And the shorter bolt goes on the top. There we go. This part's gonna be a little bit hard to do uh, one-handed. Uh, but basically, I'm now gonna take these guys, slide them on there, start tightening them on here, and then finally, we're gonna tighten on the back using those. But uh, let me see if now I'm gonna use my tripod here. Let's see if this is gonna work. Yep. All right, there you go. That's gonna work. You guys should have been using the tripod sooner, huh? What do you guys think? Alrighty, so. Um, now I'm gonna get the spacers there. I'm gonna hold them with my finger so that the spacers don't fall, right? Alright, so once again, the shorter bolt on the top. And that goes there. That goes there. Alright, I think we got that. Making them tight. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over again. So that we can install the two bolts on the back here. All right, I'm gonna use our 716 included box end wrench and there we go. these really nice nylock nuts which keep them from loosening on their own all right so there we go made that nice and tight and uh, okay time to look at the next the next part of the Upgrade. Reinstall the vest back onto the bent. Uh, okay, so so this. Oh, I see my first mistake. So I jumped ahead on the instructions, and I got ahead of myself. I should not have tightened that first because that's actually what holds this on. So, we're gonna back pedal a little bit. I'm gonna take this guy off now. This is what happens when you don't follow instructions and you jump ahead. <laughs> so, the instructions are pretty good about things happening in the right order, but you know, no harm, no foul. Um, easy fix. So we're gonna lower this back. We're gonna 
lift that guy up. How you guys, can you see that? Let me angle it a little bit more here. That's better, right? Okay, so now we gotta get these holes. There we go, there we go. Boom, that makes more sense. All right, so that screw goes right there. Where is the other, where did the other screw go? Right there. Now, the good thing, once again, about you doing this yourself is that if for whatever reason you need to downgrade and go back to the bungee cords because your uh, Vega band snapped in the middle of your shoot day, you'll know how to quickly go back and get everything back to the old system. All right, so next step is, we're gonna flip this over again. We need to, there we go. We need to uh, get these out from where they are. Okay, we need to Take our, our waist straps and redo the tri-glides and all that. So, but first we're gonna feed it through the roller here. Now, if you have an older ready rig, you actually don't have a roller right here. There's a roller system here. Uh, the older ready rigs, like the one I own, doesn't have this. So, uh, this is a really nice upgrade. Um, all right, so we're gonna take what they call the tri-glide and simply gonna feed that in and out. Here we go. That's what adjusts your waist. Okay, that side done. So now I just gotta do the same thing on the other side. Triglide, feed it in and out. Boom. Done. Okay. We're, we almost have a ready rig again. All right. Um, reading the instructions again. Reinstall the GS belt. Slide the triglides on. We just did that. Secure the GS belt to the sides of the ready rig. We just did that. And um, there you go. And now the next page right here says prepare the Vega upgrade for polycore band insulation. Move the bat wing to position one. All right, so we can do that for sure. And let me grab the. So if you look here, these are all laser etched. So this here is position one. So we wanna we wanna lift lift up on this guy and then until until it falls into position one. So that's what the instructions called for. And that's what we did. Okay. Move the band to position one. Use the hex key from the polycord bag to remove end caps. Alright, so Let's see here. So the end caps they're talking about are these end caps right here. So let's find the correct Allen. And it's not that one. It's never the first Allen you grab for. It's probably under, hmm. Did I lose an Allen? Uh, there's some right here. Nope, it's not that one either. Let me see here. Uh, is 
there another Allen in the bag? Mm. Felt like there was another Allen. I think I must have lost it. So we got all our tools here. Didn't need to use. It comes with a drill and an extractor kit, um, which luckily we didn't have to use because this is a brand new ready rig. But uh, another Allen here. Okay. Well, um, I guess not the right Allen then. Okay, so I guess it doesn't come with the Allen to do this. Well, I do that or it's in. I lost it. Oh, wait a minute. So I got more. Here's hardware bag. Although that's the hardware bag for that guy. Well, in any case, let me see if I have this Allen here um, with my stuff somewhere. And my set, my tool sets. No, that's not gonna be it. Um, I have a box of tools here. Let's see here. Some of my own tools here. You know, I have some Allens. Let's see if we get lucky. Nope. Not the right Allen. Okay, let's see if I have, I have more Allens here. I don't. Uh, let's, let's take a look. All right, guys, so we had an unexpected little hiccup here. I either lost the Allen that came with the ready rig uh, during my video, or uh, let me see here. I should have, should have an Allen set here. As usual, I probably have every Allen except the one I need, so... You know, but uh, this is what happens when you do things live. You have some unexpected occurrences, and this is exactly what happens when you guys are doing stuff at home. So, anyways, uh, let's see here in my bag of miscellaneous Allens if um, I'm going to have the Allen I need. Let's try this kit right here. He actually does mention it is, we try to remove those little caps there, 332nd. Oh, from the Polycore band bag. Oh, this is the Polycore band bag. I don't see an Allen in there. Is, oh, here we go. So what happens when you don't read the instructions carefully enough. It actually says right here, from the Polycore band bag which is this guy right here. So, and sure enough, there is an Allen in there. So we're not gonna need any of these Allens I was about to attempt. So let me put those away. Miscellaneous Allens are not gonna need. All right, so a good, good time to see what we get here in the polycore band bag. So these are the, this is the bag of hardware and parts that we're actually gonna use to install uh, the polycore bands. So there's the Allen, there's the install string. So here we go. Now that we got the Allen we were missing because we, we reread the instructions, <laughs> we can remove the end caps
careful not to lose any hardware. Thanks for joining me. I know uh, it's not the most exciting video. Um, I will, if you don't want to stick around, I will be posting this to our YouTube channel later, okay, in full. So, all right, so right there you can see the uh, pulley, the Vega pulley for the bands. So basically the way the Vega works is you got the polycore band, it loops down and around the, the pulley system right here and it anchors to the top. So anyways, let's continue with the instructions. So uh, open the end caps. Uh, of course, I have to do the other side here. But uh, as I'm doing that, we can try reading the next step. Um, let's go to page 10. All right. Prepare the Vega upgrade for polycore band installation. Unlock the band latch which is at the top here, which I'll show you in a second. Remove the polycore bands from the vacuum bag. That's this guy right here. So the bands come vacuum sealed. Um, that is so they don't deteriorate while in storage. Uh, the band, the polycore bands are, are something that you're going to want to take very good care of. Um, you know, and the best way to take care of your polycore bands and of your ready rig, let's do a little commercial break here, is this guy. This is a cinnamilled ready rig dock, carbon fiber, beautiful carbon fiber. So this holds the ready rig from the bat wing right there. Um, on a stand gives you a baby pin on top so this gives you a way to take take care of your ready rig um, and not put it on the ground and possibly not damage your bands okay let's keep reading here remove the polycore bag uh, band from the bag okay so here's the bag vacuum sealed luckily I have a very sharp tool now this is where you want to be very careful not to cut into the band. If you do that, you just threw your money away. You just destroyed your band. So at this point, you want to be extremely careful. Um, if you flatten out the bag, you can see up there is a good place to cut it right in between those two marks. Um, let me put the phone on the holder here while I do this. So once again, open from the top. Don't try to cut through here because you're gonna really um, uh, regret that because you don't want to damage your polycore band. All right, so there you go. So these are the bands, the famous, the infamous bands. And we got this new stopper here that's part of the Vega 2.0 upgrade. And there's an eyelet here, which we're gonna be threading here in a second. Where is it? It's gonna show you yeah, right there, the eyelet. And then here is the part that screws into the arm itself. All right, so let's set that aside. We got a bag of hardware also, and there's our band. Okay, so it says, uh, here is the band latch. So the band latch, let me grab it. It's, it's this guy right up here. So we're gonna wanna leave that in the open position. So that's closed, this is open, okay? And this is the top of, this is where we're gonna slide the band in. But before we do that, let's keep following our instructions here. All right. Next page, page 11. Insert the polycore band into the Vega upgrade. Before we do that, we wanna tie the large loop. So here we go. 
band insulation rope. So that's what this guy is here. So you're gonna note that the band insulation rope has a big loop on one end and a small loop on the other end, okay? So as it shows here in the picture, the large loop you want to go on to this end of, right? And you're gonna wanna go loop in and out and around, making sure that it's pulling from the top. So let's go ahead and do that. me again I'm one-handed all right so we're just gonna loop that through and there you have it now I just got to make that tight let's go over the knot there there we go so that's what we want to see and so that it goes over the top just like it is in the picture right there okay over the top all right all righty now what we're going to do is we're going to push the polycore band down through until it comes out the bottom then we're going to fish the cord back into the carbon tube so that it pokes out the top where the small loop is going to be waiting for us okay and the most important step here so here's our band okay there is the open top of the so you're going to see me feeding it in it in just like so till it hits the end and with any luck it will have poked out the bottom and now you can pull it right there so now you have the string there and now you're going to want to feed that back in because we're going to want to have it come out right there so we are feeding it in so here's where you want to be the most careful. This is the only place you can really mess up during this installation. Um, let me see if I get a little bit more light. There we go. You're going to want to make sure this is, for whatever reason, didn't fall into that crack or the lower gap. It needs to be right in the middle of the pulley. All right? All right. So now that we've fed this through... I'm hoping it's going to come out. There it is. There we see it. So we can use the tip of the Allen. Now this is where I need two hands. All right. So let's right there. So I'm going to. Here we go. We fished it out. So now we've come in looped around the pulley and now we are back out okay all right and now we move on to the next page of the install all right so what we're going to want to do now is take the small loop um take these guys right here so we're going to grab one of these we're going to feed it through the small loop right there, okay? Just like that, just like you see in the beautiful illustration there. And um, now is the point where we're going to want to 
uh, install the pro arm into the system. At this point, we do not want to install um, these guys, right? The Vega arm clamps. We do this later. So we're not installing these at the moment. We're just taking... Um, oops. We are just taking our pro arm. We're going to put it into the uh, shoulder fulcrum and uh, get ready to replicate what we see here in the photo okay so right there is we're going to want to feed the arm through the shoulder fulcrum which is that point right there and leave about a four inch gap right there okay so i'm going to put the phone in the stand and we are going to do that All right, so to do this we're going to take the shoulder i have to install oh let's tighten that guy there okay there we go and here is the shoulder fulcrum here is the pro arm so you're going to want to open up this clamp right here go so um, this is where you want to thread this in okay ah, I messed up okay. okay there we go there's this reading the instructions here so because I don't want to mess up this this part flip the and secure the large loop to the arm oh okay so I jumped ahead again see every time I jump ahead I do something wrong all right so I'm actually gonna want to don't do this <laughs> we're actually gonna use I see what they're doing here we're gonna use the arm to pull on the on the cord and set the cord so um, All right, let's figure this out together. Okay, so till the head emerges from the Vega upgrade. Okay, I see what's going on here. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. So what we need to do is that little ball, right, that we see here, this guy, needs to poke out of this right here and when it does we trap it with the latch right so we're actually going to be using the arms to stretch the cable out to make that pop the head pop out so let's see here let's finish reading make sure we're not forgetting any step pull down on the arms to do it oh holy the band latch around okay that is that is exactly correct Be 
sure to lock arms uh, before pulling down. I see. They're talking about this. So before you pull down to make this pop up, make sure to lock them down. Okay. Be sure the band latches are secure before releasing the arms slowly. Okay, here we go. So once again, just read the instructions carefully. Oops. Okay, hope we're back. So just read the instructions carefully and hope for the best. All right, so let's see here. Okay, I now am find. See, you guys are not gonna be able to see this, but. See, I'm making a mess for myself. Okay, we don't want to lose those. Let me set this over here. Okie doke. Okay. the pulley this is in the right position hope you're seeing that and it's almost out and myself is a little harder than I thought uh, probably not doing something right here If you guys could see but I now have it trapped there so now this is loose again so now I can release this and we have set the band so that last little part's a little tricky but remember you don't need to pull you don't need to pull the whole band out you just need that round ball to come out so that you can capture uh, so you can uh, close the latch and uh, finish the process. So, okie doke. Now I'm just gonna remove this. So I don't think we need this anymore. It's just for installation. Yep. Here we go. Alrighty. That last little bit is a little tricky if you've never done it before. It's the first time I've done it. Um, okay. So now we can see the band has gone neatly around the pulley. So that part is finished. So we can now um, install the covers back. Okay. I'll leave this one out so I don't lose it. Here we go. All right. All 
All right, well, now that I did the first one, the second one's gonna be a lot easier. But uh, yeah, so that last little bit is a little tricky because you gotta use a lot of force to get the that little ball in to stick out and then lock it in place with the latch lever. Okay, so there you go, that is finished. So there we go, that's the finished installed uh, polycore band. Okay, so now we have to do rinse and repeat with the other side. Um, so let's get started again. Since we're doing this live, there is no edits. <laughs> so uh, thanks for hanging in there. And just remember you guys, once again, um, I'm gonna be posting this video on my YouTube so you can refer back to it when you order your Vega upgrade and you're doing the same install at your house. You can play the video and follow along as I do it. So there is the uh, eyelet. Okay. And once again, you're gonna wanna use the big loop so you got a big loop and then at the other end you have a small loop so you actually want to feed the big loop feed it through and open wide take the other end feed it in and through and then go over there like that so like the instructions say, you want to make sure it's pulling, it looks like that, and then it's pulling from the top. Okay, so that is now ready to feed in. So let's feed that through right there. And this is not gonna go wanna go in at first. You're just gonna push down with a little bit of force and it's gonna go in right there. Okay, once again, I'm doing all of this one-handed. So if I can do it one-handed, you guys can do it with two hands for sure. All right, so there it is. You're gonna wanna go around the pulley and then up and out the other side so let's just feed that guy back in there feed it through and to make it pop out the top you just take your thumb and using the pulley here you stretch stretch it just enough so that it comes out. So you're gonna to wanna to open up this latch so you can kind of see it getting ready to poke out there. If you do what I just said, makes it a little bit easier. Uh, you can also grab the tip of your Allen and fish it, there you go. Okay, so now it's coming out the top there. Verify that you're in the center of the pulley Okay, now let's get the pro arm. And, um, and then we're gonna feed it through the shoulder fulcrum that you see there. And uh, do exactly what we did before. So there is the pro arm. There's our, one of our many ready rig videos on our YouTube channel playing in the background. But uh, all right, so this is a uh, forward that's back. So we're gonna wanna feed that in there, flip that guy open, feed it through. So once again, we are not connecting this end to this end right now. We are setting the band. So we're actually gonna connect it to the band 
use the pro arm to stretch this out, right? So we're gonna wanna get this piece of hardware right here, right there. And you're gonna want to put it through right there, okay. Once again, we're going to use this. I'm going to bend it to make this pop out. And then I'm going to close this latch and capture the head, just like we did on this side. So for this now, I'm going to need to put it on the stand here. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see. Oh, actually, okay, figured out a way where you guys can see it this time. Um, okay, so what you didn't see here is I left about four inches. I closed this latch, right? So now that that's done, I'm going to hold this bottom. I'm going to move this arm up. And here it comes. I can guide it out the hole a little bit. And see what's happening are my uh, my clamp right here is slipping and that's why I'm having a hard time so what we're gonna want to do is adjust this Allen right here to make sure it holds it clamps down tighter right so we don't get any slippage it's actually very important that we don't get that slippage um, at any time. So let me open this guy up here just enough. Hopefully I have an Allen that fits. That one's not it. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Okay, how about that? Okay, all right, well, let's try that again. That's it, got it. So just making that head pop out just enough so I can spin that latch in place and grab that right so at this point now this arm is floppy the string has lost all pressure the band is preset so now we can remove this okay we can remove this guy it's, it's done its job Okay, just like that. Again, I'm doing this all one-handed, ladies and gentlemen. You should be able to do this no problem all by yourself with two hands. All right, so 
the installation cord is gone. At this point, I think we're pretty much done. Um, let me just make sure. Let's uh, look through here. So, so let's go through here. Um, so you see here what I just did, which is we secured it to the arm. He says here four inches. We bend this down. As we bend this down, it pull ups. It pulls up that little nub. We close the latch and and uh, and hold that in place. And then let's see here. Now he's basically saying just uh, let's uh, install the Vega arm clamps. Oh yeah, that's right. We got to install the Vega arm clamps. So remove the pro arms. Slide the Vega arm clamps onto the pro arms. Lock the Vega arm clamps onto the arms. Return the pro arm to the ready rig. So there we go. So we want to slide it out. Uh, slide in the Vega arm clamp. Slide it all the way forward. So they are required using Vega Systems V2. Uh, and then we're going to slide it in all the way. And then at that point, um, you we're going to attach the dome cap to the back of the pro arm. And I think at that point we are done and we are ready to shoot. It's just giving you some uh, final um, tips about using the pro arm. So use the Vega arm clamps to remember the pivot points along the pro arm. Adjust the pro arm uh, to the desired position as normal. Slide the Vega until they contact the fulcrum. So it's basically so that you can always have the arm in the same place again. So he's saying to use the Vega arm clamps. Once you find where you want your uh, preload to be, you just make it touch the fulcrum and that way it remembers where your pivot point was, okay? Um, and then here, stowing the ready rig pro arms with Vega um, shows you how to stow away the pro arms when not in use. Relieve the tension and remove the arms to the side of, okay? So it's just showing you the uh, stowage mode, all right? Always, keeps, always keep the bands retracted inside the Vega camera when not in use extends the life of the polycore bands. All right. So and it gives you some more tips about band care. Okay. There's one thing that can fail now, right? So the one nice thing about the old bungee system is that these pretty much are failure proof, right? I've used these for almost 10 years and never had any sort of issues, but the poly bands, as you can see here, if you get a little cut or an abrasion or a tear, uh, it could fail on you, right? And that could be very problematic and uh, embarrassing even, or even dangerous in some situations. So, moral of the story, stow them correctly, take care of them on set, don't throw your ready rig on the ground, right? Use make sure to go onto our website and buy our ready rig dock right this grabs the ready rig from the bat wing there and allows you to put it on a stand okay so that's a crucial bit of um, kit for you to take care of your ready rig and so this is what the bands came in so i'm just going to set this aside for now Okay, um, and so let's attach let's attach the uh, the ready rig. Uh, the let's see, let me get the arm out of here. One second. All right. So okay, we got one pro arm there. Here is the other pro arm. We don't need this anymore. Okay. Um, and now on to the Vega arm clamp quick start guide. And here's a warning. Vega arm clamp is required when using the Vega systems with polycore band 2 insulation. 
right? Blah, blah, blah. New maximum weight capacity is 40 pounds total, 20 pounds per arm. All right, very good information. Uh, if they took the time to put that on there, uh, it is worth um, it is that is your rig <laughs> uh, we've been installing it for a while um, I will have this posted later on our uh, YouTube channel so here is the Vega arm clamps we're going to install these right now onto the Vega and uh, let me pull the other one out. Yeah, it is uh, quite a bit of install. So, but we are pretty much finished. Uh, if you ever need to redo this, uh, once again, I'm going to be posting this on our YouTube channel. And uh, let's see here. There we go. So this just gives you a little quick start guide on how to install it and in what direction, right? It's the only thing you gotta be careful of is here's the pro arm, here is the clamp. So, um, and also you're probably gonna want this clamp on one side. So for me, I'm gonna wanna open and close these with my thumb. So I would make this one the right side And I guess this one, the left side. So let's just slide it in there. All righty, so got those those just slide right in the levers lock it down and it's just saying to slide it into the vest all right there is the vest all upgraded and uh here is the shoulder fulcrum i always keep this over here so that i can um manipulate and open and close the lever right there so uh let's uh let's feed the arm in see if i can do this one-handed so, yep all right so you're just gonna bring this down okay and now you're gonna thread that in right there Okay, that is now installed. Now I'm usually, I try to pre-tension these a little bit and then lock them down. So let me just, uh, because I am by myself doing this, let's uh, put the phone on the stand there. You can see what I'm actually gonna do. So first off, this face is up. go now you're really only going to be able to adjust this uh, when it's on your body um, I tighten this so let me loosen it up a little bit there we go there we go thing I need to do here is install the last little cap so there it is 
That is the band going around the pulley. That's it all finished up. So what I'm gonna do is get these guys, right? We gotta close the cap back up. And that's it. Let me give it a last little bit tight right here. And we're finished. All right, so these are some of the leftover parts. We got the original, um, the grip loops, and this is the band uh, clamp. Um, these guys were only used for installation along with the cord installation. We got the spacers, the old screws there. We wanna keep all of this just in case for whatever reason, these bands fail mid-shoot. You can always, if you want to, if you don't want to wait, um, you can always undo this insulation and go back to the elastic bands, right? Just until you get a replacement. Or the better option would be to order a spare set of bands. But uh, that's it, everybody. Um, let me switch hands here. And there you have it, our finished Vega upgrade, Vega 2.0 upgrade. It's completely finished installation. And uh, that's it, ready to use and uh, ready to shoot. Very good instructions. They included all the tools and um, they even have their own video on their website if you want to see someone doing it. Um, if you want to see their video on it. Um, or you can always go on the, our YouTube and see this very same video uh, and install it along. You know, just hit play and, and start doing everything I'm doing in the video. And uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our Ready Rig um, Vega upgrade live install so like i said many times before in this video if i did it by myself one-handed while shooting a video and talking you should definitely be able to do it at home and uh but uh for our local customers here in la uh if you want me to do it for you no problem it only takes you know if i had if i was two-handed and not talking to people i'd probably get this done in like i don't know 10 15 minutes but uh as you saw here while reading directions and essentially doing it for the first time myself, it took a little longer. But uh, thanks for hanging in there. And uh, if you want any of the things you saw here today, you can find them on cinemill.com. Of course, we ship worldwide anywhere you are. Um, the Vegas are now back in stock. The GSs apparently are also now back in stock uh, and all that good stuff. So uh get yours now while the town before things get real busy uh hopefully they they'll they won't go out of stock but they tend to do that um they get a big batch in they um, a lot of them ship out some new people place orders but then uh, you have to wait for the next batch to be ready in any case everybody i hope you enjoyed that i hope somebody is still watching this uh i hope you're watching this down the road and it, you found it helpful and uh, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining me. And I'll see you on the next live broadcast. All right. Thanks, everyone. See ya.